regulations has made local vaping business owners concerned it could be the end of their industry. Yeah, Fox 30's Ben Lockridge has details in tonight's top story. Last month, the Food and Drug Administration released new regulations regarding e-cig devices that would require businesses to go through the pre-market tobacco applications process on every single product. Bill Wickstrom, who owns seven vape retail stores in Mississippi and also here in Meridian, says he, as well as other vaping business owners, are concerned about what that could mean for the future of their industry. The deeming regulations will start to go into effect on the 8th of August. And that's what's going to happen at that time is you're going to have a freeze on the market where you cannot introduce any new products onto the market. During that time, after the freeze, people will have to register as a tobacco manufacturer. The biggest concern for business owners is the price of the PMTA, which has been speculated to cost anywhere from $300,000 to $1 million. However, at this time, no official dollar amount has been set in stone. One thing is certain, every product must go through the application process or face prohibition. If these products don't get certified by the FDA, what has happened is they will be prohibited as late as August of 2018, and if you don't have any products, you cannot remain in business. The FDA's reasons for new regulation is due to safety issues raised about the various vaping products. However, Wickstrom says that he believes the science is there to support the safety of vaping. The RCP, which is the Royal College of Physicians, is comprised of more than 32,000 doctors. And they've recently come out that says that vaping is at least 95% less harmful for you than tobacco cigarettes because vaping is, doesn't involve any tobacco combustion. While business owners wait to hear more about the PTMA process, even customers worry that they may not have access to vaping technology in the future. It would probably end up pushing me back to cigarettes again. It's, it's unexplainable how bad cigarettes make you feel because like, it's like it puts a 100-pound weight on your shoulders. Ben Lockridge, Fox 30 News. And after August 8th, businesses will have to go two years. They will have that two years to go through the application process.